I'm 9%. That is the pay rise the Daily Telegraph says is being sought by the Education Secretary for some newly qualified teachers in England. He is challenging the Chancellor, we are told. Let us talk to Mary Bowsted, who's the General Secretary of the National Education Union and is on the line. Good morning to you. Good morning. What do you make of that sum? Uh, 9%, that's 1% more than uh, we expected, not 1% more than the government said it would um, ask the review body, well, recommend the review body. And that's a welcome start to restoring the value of teacher pay. But it um, it is for beginning teachers. It's not for experienced teachers. And uh, that's the problem. Uh, but before we get on to more experienced teachers, for beginning teachers, do you think that is a pay rise that would be acceptable if he wins that 9% uh, in his battle with the Chancellor? And we don't know that he's won it. We just think that he's said it. That's what the Daily Telegraph is, is claiming this morning, that he's written this letter um, asking for that sum. Is, is that for beginning teachers the right place to be? Well, it's not enough. I mean, it would still mean, in effect, a pay cut when you take into uh, into account RPI inflation. But it's a start about restoring um, beginner teacher pay. But my goodness, it's needed. When you look at the initial teacher training um, the starts for next year, less than half, you know, it's likely in September that less than half of the IT initial teacher training places will be taken up. And for some subjects at the moment, it's looking absolutely dire. For example, just give you three. Design and technology at the moment, there are 12 confirmed places. Um, physics, uh, 40 confirmed places. And um, modern foreign languages, 41. Now, that, that doesn't include provisional places, which is dependent on, which are dependent on people getting their degrees. But even if all the provisional places are taken up, there will be, and, and that's vanishingly unlikely, but even if that the best place scenario that all the provisional places were taken up, we still have less than half the initial teacher training starts that we need in September. And that has profound consequences for our education system. But what would it take pay to? I mean, if that, if that or roughly speaking, if that 9% were to be uh, uh, allowed, what, what would it take them to? <laughs> Well, the government's arguing that um, over a two-year period, because it would need another, if it's 9% this year, 6% next year, um, it would take, in two years, beginning teachers pay to 30000 Which isn't bad, is it, for a starting it's salary? Not, it's not bad for a graduate salary, um, but the, the, there's something that happens with pay. I mean, it's, it's all right, um, but what then happens is that beginning teachers start the profession and they experience the intense and excessive workload, which means that one in eight leaves within one year and one in four within two years. Right. So, and that then brings so us, I suppose, so onto two on, things. Yeah, well, it brings us also onto pay, doesn't it? If for teachers who've been in post for longer, mm. what, what are you expecting for them? Well, we hear from the Telegraph front page that um, the Secretary of State, Nadine Tawi, is asking for 5% for experienced teachers. Right, which is you would say is not enough. No, I mean, um, average teacher pay compared to average earnings is now at its lowest for 40 years. Um, right. And teachers have seen a drop of one-fifth in their real terms pay over the last 10 years. And so this simply isn't enough, no. Uh, is strike action still a possibility then? Yes, it is. I mean, uh, if we don't receive a very much better offer, we will be looking to ballot our members in uh, the autumn term in October. But we don't want to do that. And so uh, rather than the government writing to the Chancellor and dealing with the review body, we're asking um, Nadim Sahawi and ministers to engage with us directly and negotiate. We, we remain ready and stand ready to do that. And there is time to do that. Mary Bastard, thank you very much for talking to us.